of how the driving force of the 21st century will be powerful processing centralized in the cloud and wirelessly connected to thin clients. Autonomous vehicles will be, it will be controlled in the cloud. Smart city energy grids, transportation networks, and water systems will be controlled in the cloud. Immersive education and entertainment will come from the cloud. But such futures won't come to pass unless the pathway to and from the cloud is low latency, ultra fast, and secure. But I've listed some examples earlier, a moment ago, about what 5G makes possible. But if anyone tells you that they know the details of what 5G is going to become, run the other way. Because it is the capacity to use this new capability that will determine what our future looks like. Yes, 5G will connect the internet of everything. If something can be connected, it will be connected in the 5G world. But the predictions, but with the predictions of hundreds of billions of microchips connected in products from pill bottles to plant waterers, you can be sure of only one thing. The biggest Internet of Things application has yet to be imagined. Yes, 5G will connect the unconnected and compete with the uncompetitive. The future has a way of inventing itself. Turning innovators loose is far preferable to expecting committees and regulators to define the future. We won't wait for the standards to be the first to, to be first developed in the sometimes arduous standard setting process or in government led activity. Rule number one is that the technology should drive the policy rather than the policy drive the technology. <laughs>